Okay, in this uh, training video for ProCal V5, we are going to cover the administration aspect of the application. Uh, the first thing an administrator would want to set up in their ProCal software is on the System Options tab, System Options and Defaults. Uh, you can set up General Information, Master Record Defaults, as well as Calibration Option Defaults based off your company workflows and practices default reports to run into the application when a user executes a report, system settings for number of days between backups, minimum password lengths, timeouts, date formats, and more, as well as in a regulated environment, uh, capturing audit trails and preventing modifications to record options. Uh, these are based off your company workflows and practices, and all you have to do is simply select it or not, and the software can automatically start managing those activities. Uh, in the next section that a user and administrator would want to establish is on the company record. Uh, this is where you would establish the information on your company on the first tab here wh where you're located. And on the options tab, this is where you can configure some business rules and practices that help define the way users will interact while using this application. Uh, such as allowing, warning, or even restricting certain things from happening in the application. Uh, maybe in accordance with your quality practice, users may have to have work uh, approved and so that users cannot finalize calibrations, work orders, or even maintenance that they've entered into the application because another user may be responsible for reviewing and approving their work. Uh, other things may include establishing change control practices here, uh, test standards management, as well as some other business rules and practices that you may establish here. Uh, more detailed information about these options is available in the user manual or available on this option here for the online help. On the next tab for additional information, you may establish default values and font colors as well as statuses. And in ProCal, you can have as many statuses as you want you can call them whatever you want and every status that you set up can have its uh, uh, be assigned to an asset as you need it to be. Uh, additionally with ProCal you may also add an unlimited number of additional user-defined fields to our records and these are the records on the left hand side here and when you add a user-defined field it will be defined by the record type as well as what type of user-defined field it is whether it be a linked file or something else and you may have as many of these as you want and call them whatever you want. Uh, user defined fields and labels will cover will be covered in another uh, training session. In the notes section here every record in ProCal has the ability for you to add an unlimited number of notes and every time a note is entered it will capture who entered it, the date and timestamp, as well as the actual note that was put into the software. The next aspect of administration and management of the application is establishing users. And the way that this works in ProCal is by the file menu group records section. But the first thing that you would want to do to put in your users is by creating employee records. And when you create employee record in ProCal, this defines the user from the name. If you do employee numbering, you can define the ID as well as if there's an active and expiration date for the user. Associated vendors may be also included if you need to reset passwords or disable users, phone numbers and more. If you've purchased the optional ProCal email utility, any email address may be input here and upon it being a valid email address, the reminders for this user may be automatically emailed. And the way that that is set up is on the group record section. And, uh, and this is where you would create your user groups. You would click this button to create a new user group and when you create the user group it would ask you to put in a name as well as an ID and when you create a user group you can define on the members tab the members who make up this user group whether they be a single person or a whole group of people. You can then define on the access levels tab what these people can and cannot do from system-wide company level and approval access capabilities as well as each one of these speed buttons here along the left hand side you may define is there no access read only add and modify or full privilege of delete and as an example in this training video we have a system record over here and if this user is not uh, allowed to view system records you may set this to no access if we save this record and exit out 
you will now notice that the system options tab here is not available to this user when any record is set to no access you can customize and control the record access for each user to control even the view of the application and uh, back on the group records section here the reminders options tab this is where you may configure the reminder screen which is the first thing that your users will see when they log into the application you may control it for PMs or maintenance due in a certain number of days, calibrations due in a certain yeah. number of days, as well as uh, yeah. a required course, qualifications, and other information. Uh, if you select it, ProCal can automatically uh, start reminding you of those applications. Uh, for more detailed information on this aspect of the application, you may click the online help section as well into this or reference the user manual. For more information, please visit Technical.